Hey everyone, it's been a while since I announced my reviews were getting a makeover. Well, I did some work and I did some thinking and I found a way for them to be better. So here's what I've done and I hope you enjoy. Ta-da! Well, what do you think? Yeah, I know, it doesn't look all that impressive, but you just haven't seen the features this room has. Alright, first off, you can see this case that I have right here. It's got little lights all around it. This is what I will use to hold the movie poster to the movie I'll be reviewing. So, for example, I'm going to be doing a review for Avatar, so the poster of Avatar will go inside this case. It's a lot better than just me standing in front of the poster like my old reviews. Now this gray box above my head is the rating system, and there's five black figures inside of it. Those are the goggles, and they're black because I haven't given the rating yet. Once I do give the rating for a movie, the goggles will light up. So, for example, what if I gave Avatar five goggles? It would light up five goggles on the rating system. Or let's say I gave it three and a half goggles. It would show three and a half goggles. So, that's pretty much how the rating system works. It's pretty simple and easy, and it's really cool. But there's still more to show you guys. In the next room, we have three empty poster cases with rating systems above them. Once I've finished reviewing a movie, the poster will go in one of these cases and the rating will go above it. Here's an example. These are three movies that I've reviewed in the past, and these are the ratings I've given them. I just thought it would be a cool way to show all the movies I've reviewed and to show the ratings I've given them. So that's everything for my movie reviews, but I have separate things for my video game reviews, so let's go check that out now. This is the room I use when I review video games. You can see I put up these posters up on the wall, just to add a little more to the room. These are my six favorite games, the Mario and Sonic trilogies, because I just love Mario and Sonic games, so that's why I have these up on the wall. Anyway, this device next to me is the Holotech 3000 a hologram machine. This is what I'll be using to show a picture of the game I'm reviewing. For example, I'm going to be reviewing Assassin's Creed 2, so Holotech will show the cover to the game. And the rating system is the same. I give five goggles, it shows five goggles. Nothing different about it. Oh, and Holotech can do more than just show holograms. It also talks! Here, watch. <clears throat> Holotech, say something. Like what? See? The only problem is, it only has one voice, and it sounds robotic. It's hard to understand what it says, and it can be a bit annoying. My voice isn't annoying, but sure it is. Please, my voice is anything but annoying. Sure, whatever. Yeah, anyway, Holotech won't be talking very much in my reviews, so don't worry about him annoying you. Oh, and he can also play music. Holotech, play Dreams of an Absolution from Sonic the Hedgehog. That song again, you listen to it all the time. Hold on. what Holotech can do. He's pretty awesome, I think. Here's the last room I have. Once I've reviewed a game, I'll put the game's cover on the wall, and then I'll put the rating above it, just like my movie reviews. That's pretty much all there is to show. I hope you guys like the work I did. Tell me in the comment box what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you have any suggestions for me? Let me know. I'll be doing a review for Avatar and Assassin's Creed 2 soon, so you can look forward to seeing those and you can see my new improvements in action. Well, that's everything. I'll see you later.